Welcome back with us for part three of North Carolina tree identification with Durham Soil and Water Conservation District. Let's jump right back in with angiosperms. Sassafras, commonly found throughout the state with the exception of the higher mountain regions. Its leaves are four to six inches long with three distinct leaf forms. They may not be lobed or they may be two to three lobed on the same branch and in autumn, these leaves turn yellow, orange, or crimson. Roots, twigs, and bark of sassafras have a pleasant, spicy scent, and certain oils of sassafras are used for flavoring. The bark of the trunk is thick, red-brown, and deeply furrowed. The bark of the twig is bright green. Sassafras is a smaller tree that grows only 20 to 40 feet in height and 1 to 2 feet in diameter. Sweet gum also known as red gum, is a large forest tree reaching heights of 120 feet and 4 feet in diameter. With the exception of the high mountains, sweet gum grows on rich river bottoms in swamps that frequently flood and on drier uplands throughout the state. Sweet gum is mostly recognized by its star-shaped leaves, which is comprised of five and sometimes seven deeply separated pointed lobes. Sycamore, also called buttonwood, or the American plane tree, is considered one of the largest hardwood trees in North America, especially in diameter, reaching heights of 100 feet or more with a diameter of 10 feet or more. Easily identified by its multicolored, molted bark, the young bark on the branches is brownish. As the branch grows, the outer bark peels away in irregular patches to expose the smooth inner bark. The yellow poplar also known as the tulip poplar. This tree is named for its recognizable greenish-yellow heartwood and attractive tulip-like flowers. It can be found throughout the state, but grows best in deep, moist soils along streams and in lower mountain coves. It commonly reaches heights of 90 to 110 feet tall and 2 to 5 feet in trunk diameter. The bark is light gray and becomes thick and deeply furrowed on older trees. Poplar leaves are easy to recognize because they are composed of four large lobes that are five to six inches long. The two outer lobes are often flattened into a squarish end. Blackjack oak. The presence of blackjack oak is said to indicate poor soil health. This tree is most commonly found in poorly drained, heavy clay soils or on dry gravel or sandy upland soils where few other forest trees thrive. It's found around the state apart from the higher mountain regions. Leaves are four to eight inches long and leathery. The underneath surfaces are brownish or orangish and are quite hairy. They are often described as bell-shaped. Its acorns are less than an inch long. They are oblong and about half covered by thick scaly cups. Its bark is rough, very dark, and often nearly black and broken into small, hard, rectangular blocks. Northern Red Oak Northern Red Oak can be found throughout the Piedmont and mountain areas of the state and grows to be 70 to 90 feet in height and 2 to 3 feet in diameter. Its leaves are 5 to 8 inches long and have 7 to 11 lobes. Each lobe is typically three-toothed, sharply pointed, and has bristles on the points. The bark on young stems is smooth and gray. On older trees, it is thick and broken by shallow fissures into regular, flat, smooth surfaced plates or flat ridges. The acorns usually are up to an inch long with a flat, shallow cup at the base. Pin oak. While it grows naturally in the Piedmont, it is isolated to two areas but has been widely planted as an ornamental tree. Its leaves are three to five inches long and two to five inches wide. There are usually five lobes with the occasional leaf having seven to nine lobes that are separated by variable but often wide sinuses extending near nearly to the midrib. Post oak. Post oak can be found throughout the state. While it will grow in the mountains at elevations as high as 2,500 feet, it is most abundant on the poorer and drier soils of the Piedmont. It grows slowly and commonly reaches a height of 40 to 50 feet. With leaves of four to six inches long that are deeply divided into five lobes by broad sinuses. 
The central lateral lobes are roughly square on the ends, giving the leaf a cross-like appearance. Post oak bark is rougher and darker than the white oak and is broken into much smaller scales. Horizontal cross breaks in the ridges of the trunk's bark are characteristic of this tree. Southern red oak, also known as red oak or Spanish oak, can be found on higher ridges of the coastal plain and throughout the Piedmont. It typically grows 60 to 80 feet in height and 2 to 3 feet in diameter. The bark is rough, though not deeply furrowed, and varies from light gray on younger trees to dark gray or almost black on older ones. Leaves of two different types for this tree. One is irregularly shaped lobes that are mostly narrow and bristle-tipped, with the central lobe often being the longest, or pear-shaped leaves with three rounded lobes at the outer end. And lastly, for part three of our presentation, white oak. In North Carolina, this tree is most abundant in the Piedmont and lower mountains, but it can also be found in the coastal plain. This tree reaches 80 to 100 feet in height and 3 to 4 feet in trunk diameter. White oak leaves are 5 to 9 inches long with 7 to 9 rounded lobes. The depth of the sinuses separating the lobe varies, in some cases almost causing midrib. Don't forget to join us for part 4 of North Carolina Tree Identification with Durham Soil and Water Conservation District.